everyone welcome to the daily life project channel so today we're here at an expo we're going to visit this um, expo classic auto show so it will be quite interesting i know you guys like this type of content um, there's also food stuff so there's a bunch of stuff it's one of our favorite um, shows this one here so yes let's get to it in a motor club. So we're going to see a lot of classical cars, modern cars, a bit of everything. Never seen this car here. Cut out everyone, all these cars here. Yeah. Starts from this side here. Yeah. Very old move. Jag E type. We got the MG, all the MGs from all the areas. That's why I won't be showing my face on these videos, or else it will cover the beautiful images of these cars. <laughs> no, the V8, that's very rare. No, yeah, those are very rare to see. Very good condition, all these cars. Cheap. They're very nice as well. All this chroming. It looks like just normal net right there. <laughs> I like these wheel locks. So cool. Here we have the 
swim can. It's a very old original leather. Look at that. It's so cool the way they just let us um, investigate all these cars. It's very cool. So they're more or less all the same era. Then once you like refurbish the car, that's how it stays. So we have all these MGs around here in the circle. So these are quite rare with the hot top. I don't think I've ever seen one with a hot top before. But it's like removable, but it's not really part of the car, the chassis. Yeah, that's quite rare. Oh, what a beauty. Amazing. All the taxi cars they used to use a lot in England. This is very old school, this one. Get this long tail. So this is the car my dad always wanted. I think it's the MG Midgets. But, uh, yes, it is the Midgets. I do prefer the MGBs, Coupes. So many. I don't even know if I'm getting them right. <laughs> What a beautiful car. These long side skirts are just amazing. Even more old school right here. This is a really a racing one. Too cramped and small for me. There's so much in good condition, it's just amazing. It's really collectible items. Quite rare to see so many MGs all in one spot in this condition, eh? I didn't know there was so many MGs here in Portugal. <laughs> You don't even want to use this on the highway, imagine stones and everything hitting this grill. You can't use this car. <laughs> so that's the MGs. Let's keep on going. The rally cars. A lot of people filming, taking pictures, so it's not very easy to be in the middle of this, but I'm going to try my best, everyone. One of my favorite cars right here. Yeah, we have a beast. <laughs> it's a Godzilla. This year they also have clothes for motorbikes and this is all for motorbikes. 
helmets, jackets, shoes. So many helmets, just gotta choose. And here we have our minis. Right. Oh, the one that has like the hump on the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really what I'm into, the minis, but they always look nice. They do drive amazing. Look at that exhaust. <laughs> That's crazy. Mini Cooper S. Can't see what the reflection. It's quite cool. Very cool. It's all like a race car. And then you got these normal, just collectible ones that people just use on a, you know, they go on a trip. That one's there. Charmander is ready to go on a road trip. And here you got your food. So there's a lot to choose from. Probably just be eaten by that one over there. Pretty cool expo, eh? So this is like all the tents and the... Because they used to do like a race show. So here's where they got all the cars and... All like the workshops. Temporary workshops for the cars. It's still like... They're still bringing cars in and everything else. So it smells really quite cool. And uh... Yep. He has a Citroen. This should be cool to put on the Citroen sex with these lights. And uh, Audi, old school. Mercedes. Mitsubishi. Normally we see th this group at uh, all of the like racing events. It's going to be the the racetrack. Here you got the full circuit. There's no cross here. No. That's good, eh? Every now and then a car can be seen. It's not quite big. Ford, and we got our Peugeot. Now we're looking for our Citroen Sexo. <laughs> we're checking out for the Citroen Sexo. It's like the it's our little rally car we got at home, you know. This is actually a, a woman driver. See how cool that is. <laughs> There's another Citroen Sexo. Side wings. It's got like the white body. Never seen this one in person.
like how we got the Eurus S. So I've never seen these cars like in, so close up in person. I've seen this one on the road, the Eurus, but the Revuelto and the Hurricane. Now. Haven't seen those ones, so let me see here from the back. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I didn't even know we had so many cars like this here in Portugal. But um, yes, pretty amazing. And we got a lot more to see over here. Have here the Ford GT. Also a beautiful car. It's pretty they don't have more lights here in this room. Bentley. It's actually a convertible one. I don't know if this is a Continental. Porsche, Aston Martin. And on our right we have a nice Ferrari. Here we have the Porsche. So these are like um, auto stands. The make auto stands brands. Or like clubs. But it's quite amazing the the cars available for sale in Portugal. It's quite amazing. So I think that's why a lot of people come here to invest in cars. We still have quite a good stock, although we might not even see most of these cars on the streets. <laughs> This is a very nice car. I mean, this is so powerful, this car. For the price it is, it's very amazing. I think it has like a BMW platform. But it is a nice car. I'd love to have this car. And then you got one in white. And here we got some old school Porsches. Wow, look at this one. It's all like beaten up. It's all beaten up. Must be like for restoration or rally festival. Yeah. Oh, they use it for like rally races, classical cars. Here we got some motor bicycles, Indian. It's like all the new stuff. That looks quite nice indeed. Of course not like the old ones. They used to have a lot of fame like these ones right here. These ones were very famous at the time. I guess it's like a lot of competition in motorbikes. They're like more or less all the same, so these are all the Holly Davisons. That looks nice. NYPD. What? Just, uh, yeah, we saw the Porsches already. Check this one out. Now, this is cool.
Uh, let's check out some more Porsches this side. Motorbikes, they have a lot of motorbikes this year. They look very nice as Indians. More Porsches right here. Like all the old school ones. And then go back to the more modern ones. Actually like a lot this these side skirts. They look very nice, these like wings. Even the inside, very classical, very nice. Look at this uh, ear long, hey? That's crazy. Have you seen how smaller they started to become? Look at here. <laughs> Big. Then you start getting smaller and smaller. Look at that. Until they just like little flips. <laughs> That's crazy. Here we got it's like old school to new school. Here we got all our Aston Martins. I haven't seen none of these like up close as well. So these are the Yes. It's just so cool the fact like the back wheels come out so much from the front wheels. You can just like see the difference right here. Check that out. How much it stands out from the back. Amazing. Vantage. That's very cool. And this is the SUV. This really looks like the color looks like raw metal. It's crazy. I think I haven't seen a car with so much glitter like that before. Metallic glitter, that's amazing. DBX. I don't know much about them. They like good, like imagine compared to the Lamborghini Urus, but it looks crazy. I just like more the style of this one, I don't know why. I think it's more like sport look. And here we got more like the old school again. I actually always liked a lot that model on the right of the Aston Martin, the old school. So it's got like that Mustang vibe. We got so much more up there guys. Let's go! Maserati, I've never seen this one. Shamal. That's so crazy. And this is all the Maserati. All the Maseratis. This one looks like McLaren style MC20. This looks very nice. So it's an Aston Martin bike. That's crazy. This would be like a prototype. Can you see the vents? Yeah, yeah. 
the best thing from yes. this side. I can see here. Yeah. You can see the best. That's the best. But this must be like a putter up because I don't think you can go seats are down on that little seat there. <laughs> It's crazy. It's got tubers and everything. Wow. So I think this is like um, it's from USA, look, Ohio. So whoever's from America watching this, yes. What is this made out of the blaze? Is this all like uh, tungstenia or not? They don't make it. The blades, yeah. Oh no, the special one, uh, yeah, it's a special. How do you say it in English? Tungstenia? Tungsten, yeah. It's a white material. What's <coughs> going happen in the Greece? The coast about North This is well, I mean, we've got some really good special exhaust. I know, it's got two exhausts. Maybe I think I'm wrong. I'm not quite sure, guys. It looks like a hybrid. Okay, we got more Porsches. These actually have the prices and everything, so they're all for sale. Okay, we got the GT4 RS. How much is this? Bad boy. €276,000. That's yeah, not actually bad for a car like this. It's a beautiful car. Look at all that carbon. It's very well done, eh? All the varnish and everything. The coatings. That's a very nice car. Completely Continental GTS. I think this is the new one. What's here? Yeah. 378,000 It is a beautiful car Looks like a luxurious car It's like a SUV Doesn't have much the sport look but more like luxurious I've seen a lot of these SUVs on the road, but not the Continental nut. And here we got our Ferraris. So this is a used car, 373. I think they'd be like more expensive, but they aren't. Okay, you got your Mercedes Benz. That's a very nice one right there. This is a beast. Look at, I mean, this is. This is high, this is a tall car. Carbon fiber and the wheel arches. Are you really going to like take this on a dirt road? <laughs> I wouldn't take my Raptor, never mind the, this car right here. Even come to the side exhaust, that's crazy. I didn't even know that this was allowed on the side. I never thought that would be allowed. Wow. That's a crazy car. This is a beautiful car. G63. Even 
haven't got the carbon fiber all here. It's an amazing spec. We got our GT Black series, one of two seventy five. That's a crazy car right there. Yeah, we got more Ferraris. So these are like Portofino. These are like all used. So I bet you can get them like for this better price. Quite amazing if you have money. Okay, so here we got like more the classical cars as well, but like more affordable cars and those are very expensive cars. It's not just like the modern. I'm actually looking at this Jeep because this uh, I've never seen this. Iveco. I didn't even know they made these. Look at here, all these little normal screws, M5 or M6. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? It's good normal screws, just like our Jeep UMM. Yeah. But is this like new or...? No, no, no. This is not new. Oh. It's like a Land Rover, the modifier. No, this is Iveco. Iveco. Iveco, I know. I've never seen Iveco. But it's, it's like old school. But it's... It's weird, eh? Cost sixty-two thousand. It's like a sixty-two thousand. It's got seventy-four thousand kilometers. It's not two thousand and nine. So I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Yes. Yeah, we've got an old GT3 and uh, a McLaren. Oh, it's a 570. And here we have the BMW M2. This is a very nice car, actually. It looks, this is a very good looking BMW. Yeah, this M2. It's quite expensive, but it does look nice, yes. Mercedes, AMG Look at that guys So simple Yeah Can you imagine putting your hand on something like that? <laughs> Look, a Sega Rally old Game console play these when I was like very young and as you can see we've got our Venom 5s Peugeot 205 this is a car I'd like to have but not the Roland Garros the... I'd like to have the 1.6 the CTI How much they're asking for the Renault 5s? Here we got uh, even older. But they're all for sale this. 15 grand for many Morris. Quite a bit.
This is the 968. Here we got all these Mercedes. They're also all for sale. But some won't show the price. Just like if you're really into old Mercedes Benz. Jaguar E type. TL3 crazy all this is for sale guys some countries it will be like a fortune although it's expensive for me but for people that like in other countries to get this more expensive it's actually not bad Check out the price on this. This is the 1.9, so they're quite rare. I think it's the year that they put the most cars in this expo, so it's the biggest one ever. That's why it's a bit cramped. But the prices are a bit steep. I don't think we'll find anything for our pockets for now. It's like um, they are really. Look here. 220,000 kilometers. Yeah. I think it is too a bit overpriced for some of these cars. But it's so interesting to look at them, see all these models. Like this one here, 110,000 euros. If you have 110, you can almost buy one of those beautiful you're cars you're there. <laughs> M3 old school, 62 grand. But the more you buy the new M2, you see. So, which one? Which one? Crazy old school cars. Yes. Get these clickers. It's a beautiful car. Does it even have seat belts? I don't think so. <laughs> wow, that's a beauty. It's a crazy grill. It's all. I've never seen this car in my life. Looks like a Cadillac. It has some differences, but it looks like a Cadillac. Look at all the framing was all like Enough. metal around the. Stainless kind of steel. This. Uh, yeah, you know, stainless steel or chrome. That's a crazy car to drive. That is really big. Okay, we got this Bentley. 
Bentleys are very good looking cars. They actually got a lot of space in them. Old Mercs. I like those chairs, they look like a Vespa. They are Vespa chairs, yes. Scooters, all scooters. There's so much going on that you just get a bit lost, eh? These are becoming very expensive as well. Five and a half thousand euros, crazy. And this one, of course, it's got to be like 15 grand. I mean, from year to year, prices are just going up. Uh, it's not like um, the country is also like just um, doubling the incoming of everyone, you know. <laughs> so I don't know who's going to like invest in this, but. It is a very nice exposition, so I'm actually glad that they put us out because this is very interesting this year. Just feel like coming out like two times. I mean, check this out. It's like a dismounted Jaguar. Everything is like in pieces and suspended. See the whole car suspended by like these strings over here. That's crazy. It's like a 3D explosion of the car. I've never seen that. you can see more of the car in parts so they do like refurbishing and they recondition all the cars so you can actually see all the cars like in parts and being like ready for like the next step this is the back part of it so many people going around and I'm so lucky we came on a Friday or else I couldn't even do this video. Check that exhaust everyone. That's a crazy exhaust right there. V12. That's a beautiful, it's actually very well reconditioned. This is also a beautiful car, so this is all the Alfa Romeos. Just like before it gets restored. It's like uh, almost original. These things used to go a lot. They were quite fast for the time. And then like the ones you saw in front already all refurbished. So. Here we got more cars, all for sale, all this is for sale, and you will not get good deals in this expo, <laughs> it's all like overrated prices. Look here, this little Fiat, how much do you think this is going to be? 22! <laughs> See? Yeah. I 
actually buy a money cheaper than this one. Opal Cadets, 12 and a half. I wouldn't pay 12 and a half for this 1.3, eh? No, we either 1.6 and Yeah, 1.6 of that. What about this one? Yeah, I've never s Oh, have you seen this one? This is actually, um, this actually looks cool, this car. Have you seen this Citroen before? Visa? They're very rare. What engine does, does this one have? GT, T Ponic. It looks weird, eh? It's a lot of plastics going on here. What do you think it is? A 1.3? 1. 1. It's not 1.6. Looks weird, eh? Never seen this one in in person as well. Yeah, that's one I like. Oh yeah, the this to one point six as well. Yeah, that's what they normally ask. But you used to get that price, the one the uh, Martini. With yes. the martini spec, with the white, the white mags and everything. Got more food stuff over there. People just stop a bit, relax and eat and drink something. MGs, more Jags, there's a lot of Jaguars, eh? And MGs. More MGs, these are also for sale. Or they just like restore them. It's like a club, hey? Yeah, so they are specialists in parts of it. And here you got like liquid moly, tents. What is this? Uh, oh, Oldsmobile. Check those mags out. Talk about negative sensory. <laughs> it's a crazy car. It's a big wing. I was thinking of getting white mags for the Citroen Saxo, but they just get dirty so quick, so I don't know. He has an old Simca, also for sale. It's an old little Simca. <laughs> These are all for sale, but they don't put the prices here on this one. Yes. No, that's a Triumph. Yeah. That's an old... I haven't seen this Datsun before. here you got all, more Mercs I think these are also all for sale or just exposition oh these are all restored yes now I think they're for sale as well so there are some private garages that have like a lot of this stuff these scooters are for sale I just want to check this car up close Pretty cool car, this one. It's 
قسمت سنکان کاخ و پیشو These scooters are like also old. They're lambretas. They're from like the time of the Vespas. You know where the Vespa is. And then you got the modern one. So yes, there's a lot of stuff going on here. More all this for sale. I mean, look at the stock of Mercs. Crazy. More mercs on this side. I mean, you just get lost here. We need like um, <laughs> we need like two days just to go into the all details of all these cars. It's just crazy. And this I've never seen. Just keep on walking so I get a let all these gentlemen take their photos. These are like so beautiful, these old school cars. Oh man, I'm getting lost here. Yeah? It's too much for my brain. <laughs> this video is going to be long. I'm sorry guys, but I have to get all this. I can do it in two parts. Or just do it all in one video. I think it's better. I personally like to see everything in one video so I think I'll go for that I like this BMW a lot Z1 oh Auto Bianchi yes that's what they are these small tiny cars and neck car there's some different types look how small this is this BMW is amazing look at these doors they go into the car. Can you see that? They go inside the car, guys. That is so cool experience driving this car. Check this car out. Two benches in the boots. And then you got your own like windscreen right here. How cool is that guys? Look at this. How amazing is that? <laughs> it's so rusty, so bad. People will drive this. What is this? A Moshe? A Moshe? I don't know. Let me show you guys the name. I've never seen this in my life. Look at the steering wheel. Moshe. That's crazy. This car, I really like this car. It's pretty. They're asking forty-eight thousand euros for this. I don't know what this is, another mo Okay, so this make, makes like some crazy cars. Check this out. I know you guys can't see because it's too dark. There would be like pedals here. Let me see if I can get the lights on. Check that out, guys. How crazy is that? Three little pedals, spear wheel. Steel wheel and just um, steering wheel. 10 grand <laughs> no thank you <laughs> crazy don't tell me this is the gas tank what okay these are some crazy cars here yeah? guys they make like Special carpets. They look very good quality actually. And here we go. Look, Citroen Sexo. 
but burned out lights. See chain sex are just like ours. How much are they selling this for? So that's what the badges looked when they were brand new. Yeah, 12, no, 12, 11, 950, 146,000 kilometers, okay. Oh, it is in good shape, so. 31, 27 for this. 47 grand for Toyota Celica. Oh, it's a limited edition. This one, of course, is always expensive. The Cosworth. They have pretty cool cars here on this one. And the prices aren't really insane. We've got another Subaru Impreza. See, the prices aren't too bad on these ones. They look like overreacted, even on that Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Look at this exhaust on this car. Look how crazy that is, guys. That must be like a hundred and something millimeters. I don't know, like a hundred and twenty millimeters. That's crazy. It's like the Saxo originally had one of those. This one as well. Wow, this must make a lot of noise, guys. It has a Corsa GT. These also went up in price. So let's see how much this one is. Six nine fifty. Depends on uh, one point three, yeah. So the one point six is uh, it's more expensive. This is a very nice car, the Renault V6. These are quite expensive, but they're very rare. Look at this. It's got the engine at the back, guys. This is amazing. I mean, how can you not hear the noise? Does this have like a window that closes? No, it's got like a bonnet. That's crazy. That, that, uh, that, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it uncovered. Sixteen. One point eight, yeah, that's why. I actually like these little rally cars. They're quite cool. Here we got some more old school Porsches. So these are also all for sale. Triumph TR7. I've never seen this one. Honda Legion V6. Selling it for five grand. Yeah. Why? It's not Portuguese, is it? It's not registered here. That's why. Must have. Um, it's not registered here. I'm sure. Yeah. Can't be that cheap. What is this? Um, Spanish auto dealer. Yeah. You see, license plates. Andorra. So it's Spanish license plates. So that's why they're so cheap. Let's say you need parts for a car like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you seen that Renault Clio V6? It's got the engine. I didn't know it had the engine at the back, do you know yeah, that? Yeah, good point. I'm not going to try, I think it's a trash point. It's a trash point. It's a trash point. 
It's supposed to be much more memorable. So that's why it's so expensive. It's rare. We never did that in any of those cars. No. Wasn't this the van you had in South Africa? Yeah, it's similar to this. Similar, hey? No, your one was more modern. It had a 2.5. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's modern. was more modern. What's here is this it had one? It a 2.5. Five cylinder. Five cylinder. But, what's in the, line. but it wasn't this old, hey? No, no. It was, yeah. No. It was newer than this. Yes. Yeah. This was a nice yeah. van. Yes, yeah, a very rusty beetle, whoever wants this. Even comes with um, the old paint. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, that's the Volkswagen with the Porsche. Yeah. But that, that, that's a crazy one. Yeah, you got some more cars. I mean, you got cars everywhere. Now we want to go down to here. Is this your one that you used to have? No. Oh, the other one. Yes, see? And you weren't even going to look at it. <laughs> you almost skipped it. 1600, that's it. This is the one you had, eh? It was the grey, greyish. The light grey. And it was a four though. Oh, this is a cool play. 1604. So this is where you and mom used to drive when you were younger. Very good. You guys had style, eh? <laughs> That's crazy as well. Eh? Yeah. This is also quite rare. How much are they asking for this one? 16. It's not bad, eh? This is the car you used to have in South Africa, but you didn't have the convertible one. No. You had the hot top. Yeah. yeah, this was it. I remember when I was a kid. That's crazy. Just go back in time, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I remember as but kids. Mine, it was in the, it, no, so yeah. no, it didn't have those manometers no, there. No, no. Eh? no. no. Eh? Did it have those manometers down there? No, no, no. Only on top. top. Only oh, on okay. top. That's much better. Oh, she didn't have the. No, she didn't no, have this. This is cute here. It's cute here. Well, it smells like what petrol a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What is this? They're gonna be cleaning up in the knee. Golf what Cabriolet. This got spaces. Oh, it doesn't have. Does it have spaces? I'm sure. Yeah, they just play. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, you go. It's a Citroen. <laughs> That's the first two years of the Citroen. Look how long this car is. We almost bought one of these. I know. The 2.5 turbo diesel. Know, They're very rare. But have you seen the space you have to sit inside there? No. It's like sitting in a where, boat. Where you this? I don't you know. This? this has like. It's four meters and a half. And this is the older version. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's the Prestige, prestige yeah. This is, uh, but this is the um, limousine. The one I was looking at was the, was the turbo, the 2.5 turbo. But it was the GT, GT something, GT or something like that. It's a prestige, the luxury one. Yes. It's what it's presidents used to use in France. This is top. They just look very weird, eh? I know. Only problem is the mechanical the part is an uh, issue. You couldn't put this in the garage. No, just as a, you need a special it's just what it's a four seater, hey, yeah, yeah. four seater. You need a special gear. Yes, it is. That's why I say it's ridiculous. Yeah, you it don't is. Need a special Those are also, these are also getting very yeah, expensive. Yeah. These Citroens. Oh, but these are more like um, upgraded ones. Look, see. Yeah. yeah, I think these are new. This must be like a really fiver. Yeah, yeah it is. Check it. Wait. Okay. Yes. Oh, was shaking. I don't know why. <laughs> That's cool. 
Okay, so they upgraded to electrical. That's nice. So what is this? This is like all fiberglass in the whole panel. Yeah. Oh, the whole, everything's fiberglass. Oh, so this is like a replica then. Yeah, nice. Eh? It's weird, Very eh? Nice. I didn't nice even know that. How do you put your gear? This okay, one, no, this one is like, is this, this one must be petrol. No, this is petrol, this is electric. But it's still all fiber. Was the fiber in those days? No, 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 it's no, aluminium. No, no, no. So this is electric, okay. Got more Ferraris, they also maybe for sale. I don't know. Yes, they're all for sale. This doesn't say the price. More Porsches. There's a lot of people with a lot of cars, eh? <laughs> There's a lot of people with um, these cool collections that we don't even know because you don't see these on the streets, eh? This is all in like garages, auto stands. All pine, yeah, these are very rare. But you also wouldn't drive this. You want to go down through the middle there or. Oh, but this uh, older one than yours. 6. No, 73. Yeah, this older than the 1. one you 6. had. 16 of uh, 16 of 2. Same as that. So 16 of 74. 74. No. At the 16 of 4. Oh. Four, four. I like this one. Four, four. Same as this one. Sure, this is an older one. I, don't know. I think this is an older one. That's 1974. It was before 1974. Is it? Wow. Yeah, these are the original ones, yes. See, these are already all aluminium. Aluminium? Yeah. And then they have the replicas of us on that side. Yeah, so one of them was the original. And then the other one was the electrical on that side. These are all Volvos. They used to be good cars, these Volvos. Yeah. One screen wipers on the lights and here's one of my favorites this one <laughs> okay these cars yeah but then we'll see those on the way up again So this all uh, the Delta Integral. These are ex quite expensive. These, yes. Look, these are very nice. Well. Here we have the Shelby. It's a amazing car. There's a lot of Porsches on this. Uh, event this year. Yes. No, we haven't gone down through this side. We have to go around like that. Now we've seen this part. Yes, we have. Yes, we've seen. Yes, we did. So we can go up through here now. selling this one here this was a herald this used to be very cheap i bet cheap. you know even very now cheap. it's expensive 
really cheap in the UK. Yeah. Really cheap. And you got this. These are like um, dealers and auto parts and cleaning products, salesmen. It's like they advertising all their products, yeah. For example, this one here. I don't know what this is. It's all aluminium beaten up. So they sell like products to like tools. It's actually quite cool the way they do it. Yeah, they sell like chargers and then they put a Ferrari. <laughs> so like call attention. Then you got all these clubs over here as well. Hey, okay. uh, they sold this one. Yeah, this is the one that my dad used to have. It's a lot of memories. This is actually a nice little car, this one. I do prefer the Citroën Saxo or the Peugeot 106. This is a very nice one, this Ford Escort RS. Got these exhausts. Problem is that you can't have a lot of this stuff because um, not everything's legal, you know, for the road. Now we've got more Ford Mustangs, beautiful cars. Older school one. It's funny how the paints on old cars aren't, they're very dull compared to the new ones, you know? More modern ones. I'm not saying like completely new ones, but they did a lot of improvements throughout the years on paints. That's actually a good thing. Now we got to go into the pavilion where they have like a bunch of stuff for sale, like old parts, automobilia stuff, look like bicycles, old petrol gas stations, and all these signs. If you like into signs and stuff like that, vintage stuff, they sell everything here. Candy machines. It's actually all in English, so this comes from outside. And motorbikes. Old motorbikes. Which are also getting quite expensive now. Very cool bicycles, they have the little motor there on the wheel, just makes the wheel spin. And more cars, but I think this is more like Expo, this one, these aren't for sale. It's 125 years of Fiat. So you can see all the Fiat models here, the Mosta. Get this like old cast machine. It's crazy. It's 
full event because families come here, everything. Fire Brigade, old truck. The radios, jukebox, Casa da Musica, okay, let's take it. Ship lamp. He has like a mini tank, which isn't a mini tank, it's just like a Land Rover. <laughs> but it's all like shielded against uh, gunfire, maybe small little bombs, <laughs> mines, I don't know. Very cramped inside there. It's a crazy car. So all military and police cars, old. More automobile stuff, vintage stuff. like a butcher to yeah, cut ham and cheese in the days, day, eh? So everything, no stainless steel. No, this one, this one's perfect. Right? But no stainless steel, eh? No, but this one is like a <laughs> uh, big time, electric, eh? Oh, eh? Ceramic plates, eh? Yeah. Yeah, all like more, man. This, to get to this level. Yeah, it's quite cool to see. It's electric, it's manual. That's a projector for the movies. Yeah, cinema. oh, that's cool, cinema. See, that's how our videos started, guys. Now we... To YouTube. And he has 50 years of golf. <laughs> Basically, the. Yes, golf, not VW, yes. No, she had a one after this one. She didn't have this. This wasn't this one, yeah. No. Confused. Look at this uh, tool van. It looks actually more modern than what it's, it's, it is. Yeah. Yeah. This van will always be ugly, eh? That's on the multiple. It's becoming iconic now. This is a very nice one, the Fiat Coupe. Yeah, well, I'm not. Uh, this is. Uh, it's a two liter, eh? That one, that one's fine. That one is fine. That one. Yeah, two liter, 190 horsepower. Yeah, no, no. This no, one. This one's more powerful. Right? It's actually, have you seen even the shape? Yeah. It's like wavy on the. It's actually a very nice car. They were selling that one for nine grand in our Vader ones. Yeah, Maybe it's even this one. These two are nearly the same price. Yes. And you got the Fiat Unos. 
which gave uh, all the money for Fiat. <laughs> Fiat a bath, that's an old one. Another Fiat a bath, this one actually this, looks this, nice. This is a proper one. Yes, actually it looks very nice. That's a crazy race. Um, delivery spec. More Fiat, more Fiat, everything's Fiat. Yeah. That's quite rare to see. Yes. They didn't make very nice cars in those days. Like good looking old cars. And now here we got all... So this is like the parking for where people park their old cars. You get a cheaper ticket to come into this event. So you park your cars here, and uh, here you can see, yes, yeah, some are for sale, others they, they park here, that's part of the, of what you call it, the, if you want a discount for the, the tickets, you bring your own classic car, but the Bechetta does look like a very nice car, oh that's one of the coupé. That other coupe is also very nice. So I could, I was going to bring the UMM because it's the only car I have that it's 30 years old or over. So here you can only bring cars that are like uh, 30 years or older, okay? And you get a little discount on the ticket, but it's more for you to put your car here, park it here and the people can like appreciate it you know it's actually a cool thing that they do get your own little parking i have seen accidents happening uh where they do this type of park your classic car <laughs> last year there were some like i saw two accidents live um but um yes it's very cool it's an opportunity to get like more cars into the event so we can check them out. You used to have one of these, hey? Or was that a Toyota? It's a lot of cars to see, actually. This was very nice. Sunbeam. Take this. Anytime. Very nice. Instead of an MG or a Triumph, I'll take this. Yes. You drive this, you're gonna see. Much better than that. It does look very nice, the Sunbeams. They're actually very rare here yeah, in Portugal. So this small will be like packed, full of cars. Uh, they'll almost like even they'll stop parking cars like either in the other side over there or outside because there's too many so some of them will leave the car here for the weekend others will just come in today and get out again this is a very nice car this uh, Renault Clio Williams it's pretty cool so this was a uh, also limited edition they're quite expensive and they run very well it's a very nice car but it's not for my pockets <laughs> maybe one day here this um peugeot talbot this, oh, really? Six, six, yes six. The, the the older one yes but i prefer that reno williams there it's very nice MX-5 Old Volkswagen van See, he came, parked his car Saw the show and now he's going Because I had to go visit clients today You know, because it's a working day um, I had to bring the van so I couldn't bring the UMM 
And it's a good thing because if we came here tomorrow, we I couldn't be able to make any video. <laughs> that's too, much too, much noise. too many people, too much noise. That's not going to work. Yes. We're gonna have to go like around this. See, so this is this is Roland Gala's. I don't like this version. No. Nah. It's not even a 1.6, this one. It's not a 1.6, yeah. I think. Then you have here a Corvette. Yes. And here we have this Toyota. It's a very nice Celica, eh? Have you seen this spec? Beautiful. Very nice. This person wasted money on this one, eh? This one's real. See, if you have only one car, you waste only the money on that one. <laughs> if you have too many, then you can't. 18,000 for this Jaguar. It's a lot of uh, exhaust smells. <laughs> Check out this uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. It's picked up for like traveling across the world. Porsche 928. I also like them, the way they look. There's a Sunbeam. I like the noises of old cars because it's straight to exhaust, so you can just feel the, the noise of the engine. You can really just feel the engine, you know, the noise. Cool. We've got a Ford Model A. Ford Model A, twenty-two thousand. You expect that to be more expensive? Why is that twenty-two thousand? And you get some cars that are ridiculous. Try a T nine five one. I don't know this one. Mayflower. Mayflower, which was, and used, a was used for taxi in the UK. You think it's got problems, that's why... She, no, this private seller, say, hey, that's why it's yeah. cheaper. You see, auto stands, one price, private. Twenty-seven for this one. Inside there, there was... Uh, no, it was a Datsun one as well. It was the same color as the Datsun, one, yeah. One and a half, sub, ten nine, nineteen and a half. Over this form, I think this isn't private. This one, yeah. Yes. I think so. I'm not sure. Some more, but modern ones. Two or five GTI. No, that what? This is the 1.6. That's the thing for yeah. That's too much, yeah. See, that's I wouldn't pay for that. 20 grand for 1.6. Here we got another Mahari and a Toyota Corolla. What? Oh, okay. It's a GT Twin Cam. Well, those are quite rare as well, but still. 200,000 kilometers, 28 grand is too much. It's a nice Datsun. Hey? Is it? CLK B6. 200,000 kilometers. It's got quite a lot of kilometers, these cars. Wow. 82 grand, this Ferrari Spider. Electra, I've never seen this one. It's a Buick. Oh, Buick, okay. And this is a Fiat Spider. They are. And now we got more like automobilia parts over here. This is 
We don't need to look for the symbols anymore. We well, got them all. It was underneath that carpet over there. <laughs> just if you like need old parts for your car, a lot of people yeah. keep them and just sell them. Yes. See all those special. Um, Mags choice as well. I mean, they just sell everything they have at home, but they keep, they just bring it here to the show and sell it. More food, a lot of food, I told you guys. Here we got like auto radios for different cars. So basically we found the radio for the radio of our van and uh, we can do that on the next project for our channel. So yes, finally got the radio, you can just order it online from the shop. And that will be our next project for the Daily Life Project channel. So he says it's exactly the same thing, it's got more options and it's just easy, plug and play, very easy. Take out the older one and put this one in. There's actually another version with like a bigger tablet, looks like this. But we can probably just go for this one, looks more like the original. So that would be a cool project. So, yes, guys, I'm not gonna buy it right now, I'll buy it online, just check out the other one. And they give me the same price as the, as one of the events. So that's cool, very nice. So, if you guys need an auto radio, check them out. So more toys. But it's not wind up toys, hey? No. no. You need wind up toys. Those are the coolest ones. Got more tools, some old stuff over there. These tools normally you can get like uh, online, but the jacks are quite a uh, good price, yeah. Although I did get uh, from Autodoc aluminium one, a bit lighter. Symbols and plates. And this is actually the bar where we normally go. So that's why I'm pulling it out. I didn't even know they had all this like merchandise stuff. That's cool. All these toys. It's not toys, it's like more car model toys. So that's quite cool, they got plenty of them. And you got all these like scale models right here if you really like your car you can have this in your lounge and this is a very nice one and that must be like uh, i think it actually rides must have like a little engine or something i don't know looks very really nice Motorbike, of course, and here we got army stuff. If you like, uh, and if you want like a knife or something from the army, accessories, they got it all for you, so it's pretty cool. I've already got some stuff from here before. And 
some events, um, they even got more stuff, so it depends, you know. Radios. Yeah, really old. Yeah. Very old. Old food distributors, you got old carburetors. You got so many things. Yeah. Old filters. Those are old school radios, eh? Yeah. You need that for. I mean, people in old cars, they don't put old radios anymore. Now they put yeah. modern ones. So I would just put a, a modern one so you can enjoy the music while you ride. And if you're not really making old. YouTube videos. This is very old stuff, man. Right? Yes, this is. Really, really Let's check it out a bit. Really Look at the old flicker, flickers yeah. for the... What was this? Volkswagen? Yes, that's for the Viva. Wow. That's for the indicators. Indicators, eh? Viva. Indicator that's Viva. right. Yes, 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 watch. Viva. It's quite cool as well. Yeah? Yes. Splits forever for the beetle. Yeah, that's all for beetle. If you have a beetle, just come to these guys. The windows for the back. The filter. Yes. These are the oil. Some of them use take oil. Okay. You pour oil inside. Wow. Hey, yeah, you got all the heads and the cams. Yeah. And this is the end part of the show. So, um, still got some stuff going on here. Very few, but tomorrow this will be packed over here. Yes, that's the next show for next year. So, yes, next year we got another event planned for next year. We can't stop, we have to keep on doing these videos. <laughs> We're planning for a year in advance already. And uh, you guys have the Toyota? Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's amazing. And this is the next event. In December, we'll have be having this one here. So that will be a video in December. In December, not December, we're really talking like Portuguese English together. <laughs> Are they going to fire up the Shelby? No. This came from Chile, South America. Wow. And this will also have in December, they'll also be um, racing. So, yes, I think you guys will enjoy this one a lot. Check this mini out, but it's a pickup actually. Mini pickup. That's cool, comes in handy. And you can have fun. It's so easy to work on that. Food stuff. More toys. Even got like um, manuals and books. If you need something for your car which you lost or you don't have, you can just like get all these manuals here. Yeah. They basically got for like all makes and cars, models. So yes, this is quite cool. Looking for some wind-up toys for my nephews because they really like wind-up toys. But it's very hard to get them nowadays. Got a boat. A Renault, I've never seen this Renault before. 12,900 euros for this historical car. I think it would be more expensive for these oldies. It's very weird. This one's not registered here, yeah, or maybe that's why it's not national registered, you know. So, but it's not expensive to register. Um, cars before 1973, so it's not bad. Here we got 
Yes. The first one. 12,900. Yes. Why are these old cars well, more gotta, cheaper you gotta, you than... Gotta, you, this, that one you got to crank it, huh? I know, but it, you'd think that that should cost like 40 it's grand. Cheap, it's cheap. <laughs> this, one, this one, yeah. Like a mini Morris. This one. Okay, 12 and a half. That's this, not this, this bad. Ford Cortina. But it's so weird. Some of the oldest ones are like... Yes, got sweets. <laughs> it's just weird, eh? So what did you think about this uh, event? It was nice, eh? It was bigger. Much bigger. We're actually more tired this <laughs> year. And this is where we started, guys. Okay, everyone, so that's about it. Um, it was much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so I'm going to have to like cramp it all in one video or maybe two. I'm going to try to do one video and then, uh, you know, when you guys are like just relaxing, you guys can check out the whole video. <laughs> so it was very cool, very interesting. So cars that I've never seen in my life. And um, yes, now we didn't end up eating there because we're going to go um, store to a shop. And then we're going to stop somewhere to eat on the way because it's still a bit early, you know. Um, so yes, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I'll film just the food and then I'm out. <laughs> okay, so we already ate. I couldn't show you guys the food because um, it was raining and I had my hands full because we had to hold the food and umbrellas and everything. So... Um, We ate down there, right down there. Oh, I'm covering it up. I don't need this now. <laughs> it's a bit stressing because of the rain. And we, it's the first time we come here, so I don't know how it works. But yes, uh, basically, that's where we ate down there. On that one, very nice. It was a veal sandwich with the garlic sauce, fried onion, cheese, and um, the homemade bread. That was nice. Um, so they do like homemade beer. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> one and down um, out